I started doing engineering as a child, working with Meccano and um, exploding treacle tins and the jolly things that youngsters did. I repaired bicycles and then I started doing model engineering um, principally when I was taken on as an apprentice fitter in steelworks. It's just something I've always done. Busey work from uh, plans, some of it's very basic, you have to put a lot of extra work and design into it. Mostly it is from published designs. I start from uh, castings which are supplied by manufacturers who provide the basic kits and things. The rest of it is made from materials which are just stock items in the workshop. Um, if it's a steam engine, mostly I buy in a working boiler. Commitment is entirely down to what the individual person wants to put into it. You only get out of something what you've actually put into it. The degree of competence of how you do it and the degree of skill that's involved varies from one person to another. My smallest traction engine, I've been on it 35 years and I still haven't finished it. But that's because I've set off and done other things. You've got to expect to spend several hundred hours for small models, several thousand hours to complete a reasonable size engine. Uh, I want to see my engines working at, uh, when I finish with it. My skill level is not terribly high. It's practical rather than being finely expertise. Maintenance is a full-time job, uh, especially on a steam locomotive. Like anything else, they have a life. Uh, they, we have, at this moment, two engines down because their life expired on the tubes. They get burnt out and, in consequence, they have to be replaced. It's part of the hobby. If you take it on, uh, to be fair, there are some people who simply buy a locomotive from a stock somewhere and they just run it. They, they haven't got much engineering background, so they don't really know how to fix it. If you're a proper model enthusiast, you may have built the thing in the first place, but you will have learned the background of what is required to keep the thing operational. Uh, years ago, model engineering was done by a small percentage of elderly people, but younger people did manage to do it. The model engineering clubs and societies are ever more populated by retired persons, so the, the age group has gone up. Um, since my time, it's even at the Model Engineering Club, and the average age group has gone up 10 years. It's all gone wrong because of the engineering availability in schools and colleges, which used to be there, it no longer is. So youngsters are not seeing the the basic requirements of what's involved in model engineering to pick it up in later life. As I said earlier, the age group is going up, people will go out, the availability of machines and equipment is ever increasing and people later in life in their 40s plus are taking up model engineering. But for youngsters, no, with very few exceptions, it's not really working.